Section 2.3 is on solving multi-step equations. A multi-step equation requires that we use addition or subtraction and multiplication or division in order to solve the equation. And the order that we do these operations does matter. Basically to solve, remember that means we're trying to find x, is we're going to undo backwards whatever was done to x. So let's take a look at a couple examples. First equation I need to solve is 2x minus 6 equals 4. You'll notice that the thing that's first being done to x is it's being multiplied by 2, and then it's having 6 subtracted from it. So I want to undo that backwards. So instead of a minus 6, I'll do a plus 6 on both sides. So that gives me 2x equals 10 because my minus 6 and plus 6 cancel out. Now I have 2x, 2 times x equals 10, so I want to divide both sides by 2 and that gives me x equals 5. Now to check my solution, I'm going to plug in 5 for x into the original equation. So is 2 times 5 minus 6 equal to 4? And now just PEMDAS each side of the equation to solve this. Is 10 minus 6 equal to 4? Indeed it is. 4 equals 4. My solution checks, so x is equal to 5. <clears throat> Here's a second example. The quantity x plus 1 divided by negative 2 is equal to 15. Let's take a look at what's being done to x. x is having 1 added to it, and then it's being divided by a negative 2. So if I'm going to undo those backwards, the first thing I need to do is undo dividing by negative 2, which means multiplying both sides by a negative 2. And so then these are going to cancel each other out, because one's on the top and one's on the bottom. So I have x plus 1 equals negative 30, and now subtracting 1 on both sides, x is equal to a negative 31. So let's check that. Let's plug negative 31 in for x into the original equation. So is negative 31 plus 1 divided by negative 2, is that equal to 15? And just PEMDAS this side, negative 31 plus 1 is a negative 30, divided by negative 2, is that equal to 15? And indeed it is. My solution checks, so x equals negative 31. So another type of problem that you might run into when you're solving multi-step equations are consecutive integers problems. So let's talk about what some of these terms mean. Integers are basically the positive and negative whole numbers and zero. So we have all of the negative numbers, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and then all of the positive numbers. Those are integers. Notice there's no fractions and there's no decimals. <coughs> Consecutive integers are integers that come in order, such as negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Now to represent those algebraically, I'm going to call my first, first integer x, then the next one is going to be whatever x was plus 1, because that's the next number. And notice that's true here. If, if x is negative 2 and I add 1 to it, I get the next integer. And then my third consecutive integer would be x plus 2 because I've added 2 to my original integer, and so on. Sometimes the problems will ask for consecutive even or odd integers. So consecutive even integers might be negative 4, negative 2, 0, 2, and 4. And notice that when I go from one of these numbers to the next, I'm not adding 1, I'm actually adding 2. So algebraically, you would express your consecutive even integers as x, x plus 2, x plus 4, x plus 6, and so on. Consecutive odd integers would be odd numbers that come, come in, in a line here. So negative 5, negative 3, negative 1, 1, 3, and 5. And notice you're doing the same thing even though they're odd integers. My first one is x, but then to get the next odd integer, I actually have to add 2. Now, this is a little unusual because you're thinking, well, they're odd numbers, why don't I add 1, 5, and 3? But that's not the way it works. Look at, let's look at some positive numbers here. To go from 3 to 5, I actually have to add 2. If I were to add 1, an odd number, I don't get the next consecutive odd integer. I want the next odd number. So whether it's consecutive even or consecutive odd integers, always add 2, 4, 6, and so on. So let's take a look at one example here. To find variables, write an equation and solve this, and do not guess. Find three consecutive integers whose sum is negative 36. So I'm going to define my variables. I'm going to say let x equal 
the first consecutive integer. <clears throat> and now I need my next consecutive integer. And because these aren't necessarily even or odd, I'm just going to add 1. Let x plus 1 equal the second consecutive integer. And let x plus 2 equal the third consecutive integer. So I had to find my variables, so I know what my x's and x plus 1 and x plus 2 are going to stand for. Now I need to write an equation. Notice it says that these three consecutive integers add up to negative 36. So my equation is x plus, because that's my first one, plus my second integer, which is x plus 1, plus my third integer, which is x plus 2, and those add up to negative 36. So this is my first integer, plus my second, plus my third. Now let's combine like terms to solve this. I have x plus x plus x, which gives me 3x. 1 plus 2 gives me 3, equals negative 36. And now I have a multi-step equation to solve. I'll start by subtracting 3 on both sides. So 3x equals a negative 39 and then dividing both sides by 3, x equals a negative 13. So negative 13 is my first consecutive integer, and my second one is going to be x plus 1. And when I add 1 to negative 13, I get negative 12. And when I add 2 to negative 13, I get negative 11. So my three consecutive integers that add up to negative 36 are negative 13, negative 12, and negative 11. So in this lesson we looked at solving multi-step equations where you have to add or subtract and multiply or divide and the order in which we do that does indeed matter.